I'm Ronnie, co-founder of Four Wheeling in Western Australia. Uh, today's office is in uh, Ura, Ura, Uraling State Forest. It's uh, south of um, Mundaring State Forest and near Mount, uh, Mount Cook, or Mount Cook it might be called, not too sure. Um, so in this part two we're going to go through what I've done to the box and what's on top of it. Uh, okay, so I opted for lightweight aluminium because the train only weighs 250 kilo and the rear leaf suspension is rated at um, constant load 600. So had I gone a steel box, I'd have been near my constant load before putting anything in it. So, <clears throat> okay, so this is my main setup, mainly for, for camping and general purposes. Yeah, there's a lot of wiring and stuff here and um, See, it's not the neatest job in the world. It's because it's it's still an ongoing job, and I wanted to show you guys that um, you know, it's it's actually something I've done myself. So you can see where all the wiring is kind of going. First off, pretty much everything you see here, electrical wise, it's all from our latest sponsor, Alltronics. Um, they do they basically do do it do it yourself electronics with their components. And they got they got some good gear, good prices, and yeah, it's it's got me to, to do all this. It's not that hard to do it really, but you got to kind of be a little bit electrical minded. So I'm not going to go into how I've done it all, but if you would like to know, um, you know, put a comment down below, and if I get enough response, I, I might do a video on how, how how I've done it all. But just give you a quick gander. It's, you know, it might look complicated, but once you get into it, it's pretty, pretty straightforward, really. Most of money lights are. Got a fan here just to circulate air when doing long drives, just to give the fridge a bit of a helping hand. Lights, that's all lights. All right, so that's the lights or not. Lights up a fair bit. In there. And that's all the lights on. So what you see over here, we've got three 12 volt plugs. One's running in the fridge, the other two are the spares. Uh, you know, because I've got a lot of you know, camera gear, GoPros, stuff like that, so I've charged it all from here. This is my charging station. And here I've even got like an iPod charger. It's only, only admits, you know, iPod, iPad, voltage, smartphone yeah, voltage. See. Low voltage. A handy uh, mop holder from a hardware store here. Makes a good torch holder. Dual compressor. Pretty fast. And this is, I've designed it so I can have this box here to keep all my general stuff in. You know, like um, yeah, machete just to cut some bushes and stuff. Got a little ha hacksaw in there as well. A sort of garden saw. All bits and bobs for the compressor, straps, anything I might need. Fast. One last thing I want to show you in the power area is um, what I've done is this is a household electrical plug. It goes through the wall there to the other side where the open, you know, the ventilated cab area is. And uh, basically, if I, if the car's going to sit at home for a couple of days, not going anywhere, I'll plug it into the main. This plugs into the fridge just to save my battery. Oh, my second battery is going to drain because it gets really hot in this dark coloured aluminium box. And, you know, Perth weather's pretty darn hot in summer and spring, so. All right, so that's, well, before we go out of the powered area, what do we got in here? Oh, look at that. New stubby holder. These will be available on our site soon if you can. Just, uh, I'll show you. Put that back in there. All right, moving on to the cargo area. All right, I've left most of my gear out for the shoot. Otherwise, you're not really going to get a grasp on the space. But, um, there's a lot of space. This, I think this is a metre in here. So you, you can just stack them and it up. You put all the heavy stuff on the bottom, all the light stuff up the top. It's beautiful. And I uh, don't mind the... Um, looks messy, but it works. No one's going to see that. Apart from you guys. So you know, this door... Uh, door opens a bit higher. Uh, I'll get to that reason in a sec. But uh, yeah, the, mainly all my tools are in here. As you can see, there's plenty of, plenty of space here. What I've actually used here 
is this cheap flooring. You know, you put in front of your tents and stuff from camping shops. Most camping shops have them. Have them. Um, I think for about 10 bucks you get four of these and I've just lined the bottom of that and it helps catch any little bits and bobs that fall in whatnot and stops a lot of the clanging noise from metal objects so hitting the... Get to the outside external kind of area. Now it's six foot one so it's not really a design for people that are much shorter than that. To get into it I've got to pop these top latches. all comes off. So, got my recovery gear and garbage bags, garbage, and oh, jerry straps here, and there's the other end of that cable I was talking about before. So, I've got this on there, just pull it through to, pull through okay, to, um, so you notice, um, the other side, the other door opens a lot higher, this one opens a bit lower. The reason for that is, I've got an ostrich wing on top, in the morning, wraps right around. Uh, if this door opened higher, I would have had to have that one right up. And the car's already at 2.3 metres high, so it's getting up there. So I wanted to keep it low. Um, so we'll get into the awning now. I'll just need this, I'll show you why. Okay, that's it. Unveil the awning. Awning by Ostrich Ring Australia. Last thing to put up. How good is that, eh? Very fast to uh, unveil. And uh, look at the amount of shade I got. Now, what did I get this out for? Well, my canopy door tends to hit the awning, so it's my rubber stop. So there we go, ostrich wing. Uh, no need to tie it down anywhere, unless it gets really windy. It does have tie down points here and there. It does have a pole, because they recommend that if it is a bit windy, you just tighten it up a bit here. That just stops the bounce. So, yeah. That's the ostrich wing. Be sure to check out our website, fourwheelingandwesternaustralia.com. We've got the short link. And be sure to subscribe. And check us out on Facebook. And any questions or anything, just chuck them in the comments below. Send us an email. Catch us on Facebook. And I'll catch you guys out there. See ya.